have my professor Aslan. Hi! <laughs> and we got some killing to do. Oh. I love this time of season, summertime, but I hate mosquitoes. Don't you hate mosquitoes? Yeah, I'm even allergic to them. They are awful creatures. And these blood-sucking bummers are synonymous with backyard barbecues and weekend camping trips. But they are also the number one transmitter of malaria and Zika. And not only that, but they are responsible, responsible for spreading diseases like the West Nile virus all over the world and right here in the United States. So you know what I say? Off with their head! That's right. In this week's project, I'm going to show you how to make a genius and super effective mosquito tail of doom. Yay! Or homemade mosquito trap. This week's project is a life science engineering project as well as promoting the three R's of environmentalism. Reducing, reusing, and recycling. So this project, as we said, is about getting all those mosquitoes and they are not inside, or at least we hope they're not. So we're gonna take this project outside and we are gonna get to it. Let's get them. Okay. You ready, Freddy? Yep. Word. To the mother. Now for this project, you're going to need a two liter plastic bottle, a half a cup of sugar, one cup of lukewarm water, a utility knife with adult supervision, of course, a teaspoon of yeast, and glue or molding silicone. Now just cut the top off the bottle right at the lip of the cone. And then turn the cone portion upside down and insert it straight down into the straight part of the remaining portion of the bottle. And glue these two pieces together. Now mix the yeast, the sugar, and lukewarm water together, and then pour it into your trap. I didn't pour all of it, because we made our bottle a little small. Now, Adlin and I have put one of our traps into a pretty planter, because let's face it, this project is pretty gross. Now you're ready to put it in an area that you would like to keep mosquito free. Think back to our snack attack episode where we learned all about how carbon dioxide is a main sign of life. Mosquitoes are super attracted to carbon dioxide. It's crazy. They just go crazy for it. They get one whip and they come running looking for food. So I don't know if you know this, but Humans, you and me, we inhale oxygen and exhale CO2. <laughs> Which is why mosquitoes can find us pretty much anywhere we go, no matter how hard we try to hide. We also learned in that episode all about how yeast takes a snack of its favorite food, sugar, and then farts out carbon dioxide as it reproduces. So the way this project works is the mosquitoes get a whiff of the carbon dioxide being released by the yeast in the bottle and come looking for a snack, but oh no, sweet annihilation. <laughs> now all you have to do is replace your mosquito trap once every two weeks and your backyard or picnic area will stay mosquito free for all season long. And that's about what that's bad <laughs> Now word on the street is that you can use this bottle design for a fly trap, a wasp trap, and even a fish catch. Now I'm going to let you know how to do it in the article for this week's episode, but you're going to have to leave a comment and let me know if it works, because that's just weird, especially the fish trap. To learn more about malaria and Zika prevention, I want you to check out the article in the description box below. You can even donate much needed mosquito nets to families in Africa by visiting my friends over at malarianomore.org and tell me your crazy Aunt Lindsay sent you. If you like this project, leave a thumbs up or click the comments below. <laughs> 
for more projects like this and more, crazyauntlindsay.com. As always, I am on Twitter and Pinterest handles Aunt Lindsay. And of course, there's Facebook slash Crazy Aunt Lindsay. This is Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and we made mosquito traps today. I hope mosquitoes don't bite you. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.